Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading. I took a break yesterday. I was invited to a very lovely Christmas function, so no royal reading yesterday. Today, when I was catching up with the news, of course, there was the Daily Mail article saying that it seems as if the investigation into Meghan Markle's bullying when she was a working member of the royal family is being kicked into long grass. As the Daily Mail put it, it's being hushed up. Only a very few people, a tiny handful, I think was the exact phrase, a tiny handful of people have been uh, actually called in and interviewed, which doesn't bode well. And uh, so I have read on this subject several times before. I'm struggling to shuffle today for some reason. I have shuffled and shuffled. Of course, I always do before I start these readings. But uh, I just give the final few shuffles on camera so that you can see that I am actually shuffling. And um, using the ordinary right away today, yet again, reading on this bullying thing, yet again have to say my usual disclaimer tarot reading, entertainment purposes, and uh, all my opinion. But I'm doing this reading Celtic Cross using the Ordinary Rider Waite for the sake of clarity. Doing this reading from the point of view of the law firm that is actually handling, handling the external investigation. Of course it was um, outsourced uh, for allegedly uh, independence. Uh, that's why they normally do things like that. Send it out to a third party so that nobody can say it was biased. And um, let's see what's going on. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is the underlying energy. Uh, that's the ground to a halt energy. I'm very sad to see this card as the underlying energy. It is slow progress when it's in the upright. Slow steady progress in the reverse is ground to a halt. It stopped for some reason. And uh, we'll have to see if we can find out why, whether there has been royal family influence and uh, that for some reason they are trying to block this and hush it up and just get rid of it. Uh, but let, let, let's see, from the law firm's point of view, and I cannot actually remember the name of the law firm. It's on the tip of my tongue. Can't remember it. It's possibly just as well that I can't remember it. But anyway, at uh, heart of the matter, wow, they're very disappointed. And they feel betrayed. Three of swords. Uh, it, it doesn't get worse than this. And I have to tell you that as I'm looking at that card, my eyes constantly being caught by the card that was also at the bottom of the deck that was lying under this Knight of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Five of Cups is a very sad outcome. Very depressed, very miserable, uh, regret, sorrow, focused on what's been lost, not focused on what's still behind this person in the robe. And uh, so two really uh, very negative energies of disappointment and uh, does not look good. It doesn't look good. From the law firm's point of view, it looks as if they are feeling very disappointed, very betrayed, very let down by whoever asked them to do this, handed over this inquiry to them. And this is just, does it smack of that court case with the butler who always pops up at uh, every conceivable moment when somebody might be talking about Princess Diana, that ex-butler who allegedly stole things from Princess Diana, there was going to be a criminal case. And at the 11th hour, the Queen suddenly remembered that she had given him permission to take the things. Are we there? Is this what's going on? I'll be very disappointed. I am very naive and still hope for the best. But let's see what, oh my goodness, what challenges they're facing. Nine of Swords, Nightmare. And uh, this is the sleepless nights, toss, tossing and turning, worried, very worried, very stressed. Um, I think they're worried and stressed because they know they, they want to do the right thing. But for some reason, a handbrake is on and they're not able to do the right thing. And uh, oh dear, it looks like it's going to be one of these readings. And uh, so what is going on? What's hidden from us right now? What's going on behind the scenes that might explain all of this very negative energy? <laughs> and there it is, the emperor. The emperor has laid down the law in the background. And uh, to me, that's the queen. That, that's as high up as it's going. And I have to say, this is my opinion, tarot reading. And uh, it's come right. It's come from the top. It's come from this. Is the, the crown. It has come from the crown. This 
silencing, stopping, halting. We're not going to carry on with this. And uh, oh, this is uh, just really quite quite shocking, shocking card. I have to tell you, I didn't want to do this reading. I, I, um, I had a few false starts for various reasons. My throat chakra packed up the first time I tried to do it. Second time the cards landed on the floor while I was trying to shuffle on camera. And uh, it just has, it's felt really awful. The energy has felt really awful in the build up to doing this reading. So I'm not surprised to see these cards. I am disappointed to see these cards. Uh, focus for the law firm, focus for whoever is trying to run this investigation right now where, where is their energy their conscious energy is on the royal family ten of pentacles it's on the need to keep uh, this family stable to keep them looking good uh, to ensure that everybody is in all the ducks are in a row all the people in the line of succession are in the line of succession everybody is happy and um, all the generations are there and represented and future is secured and it's all a very much about posterity and all of that um, image I would say with that card don't often get that idea from this ten of pentacles energy but image it's about image management right now and I guess that if the allegations are tr were true about the bullying and if the um, the allegations were ignored, the complaints were ignored. Jason Knauf, we know, wrote a letter um, and took it to HR and it was ignored. Got uh, ignored, it got uh, sat on by Clarence House. It's not going to look good for Clarence House in particular. It's not going to look good for Prince Charles. So it looks like it could be coming from that emperor. Uh, the emperor in waiting let's see what has happened in the recent past with this investigation well it's fallen apart at the seams with the three of pentacles in reverse uh, cooperation when it's upright and the three of pentacles is teamwork uh, all working together to a common a common end a common goal in the reverse no longer collaborating no longer cooperating it looks as if somebody very uh, implicated in this investigation is not cooperating and that would not for once be Meghan Markle because she apparently has not been uh, invited to submit anything to this inquiry she has apparently written something she and Harry have actually written I, I can't remember was it a 30 page uh, retort reply uh, without having um, seen any of the allegations as such they wrote a very long speech as we know she does like to bash away at those keys at three in the morning I think the rosé all day and then writing all night um, but there it is no longer people who were cooperating are no longer co cooperating or stopped cooperating in the recent past so what's going to be happening in the near future with this investigation what's going to be going on two of pentacles in reverse uh, two twos are always about decisions and uh, somebody involved in this investigation, we're looking at it from the law firm's point of view, is not going to like a decision that comes down. I'm going to feel uh, that it's, it's uh, unjust. Two is about balance. The Two of Pentacles is about trying to balance things, trying to juggle things, keep... keep um, keep everything in balance keep everything in play and, and when it's in the reverse you've dropped the ball you're overwhelmed you you can't you, you're out of balance so they're going to think that whatever is going on is unfair is unbalanced is a, a sort of overwhelming almost I don't think the workload is going to be overwhelming because it doesn't look like there is a workload but I think they're going to be overwhelmed by the decision that is made in this matter and of course tarot reading you know the drill so I've asked very specific questions for these cards here how many people have they actually interviewed can the cards tell us how many people they have actually interviewed I would say very few I would say that the Daily Mail is on the money with that a tiny handful uh, we've got a four four of swords and so four, maybe, it could be the exact number of people that have been interviewed, four. But in this card, very interestingly, and I'm very glad that I used just the regular right of weight. I was very, I've given very clear instructions that uh, no, nothing fancy for this reading. Good old-fashioned right of weight, please. Um, 
is somebody uh, resting, somebody defeated and uh, silent. It's a silent card, the Four of Swords. It is people being silenced. And um, we might, if we have time, throw a card to, to see why people have been silenced. But it looks as if they have. It looks as if a whole lot of people have been silenced and are not prepared to speak anymore on this subject. Maybe it's the NDAs. Um, who knows? Maybe they've been uh, paid to go away, but they're silent. They're not speaking. They're trying to heal. They're trying to recover. And as I say that, you probably didn't hear it, but the old husky is uh, giving a, a little cry at the door. He's not in the room where I'm doing this reading uh, because he was out in the garden and he's crying now to come back in. So, um, really this is a very depressing reading quite honestly and i'm sorry about that but i don't control the energies i do my best to, to report them as honestly as i can so uh what pressure uh, are the people at the law firm under from the royal family crucial question i guess and that's the ace of wands and that is somebody who's trying i said image management up here with the ten of pentacles pentacles this is an image management card the ace of wands they want to take charge of this they want new energy to come in they don't they they don't want negative uh consequences from this inquiry they basically want to sweep it away. I would say sweep it under the carpet with that Ace of Wands. Take charge, new ideas, new new resolve, new enthusiasm for new projects. Uh, we're tired of this. We don't want this to drag on because it doesn't reflect well on us. That's what I'm getting from this card. You may read this card differently and uh, be interested to see what you have to say about it in the comments. It's the energy that I'm getting off this card. So... This um, card, I have specifically asked for what have their findings been so far. It's not what is normally the ninth card in a Celtic cross, but it's what I wrote down. It's what universe has been asked to answer. What are the findings of this inquiry so far? And uh, I guess that uh, she's coming. She's going to uh, get off scot-free, the Empress. Uh, that is, of course, the... The feminine, the divine feminine, the boss of the situation, all the queens rolled into one figure, the empress. It looks to me, uh, she's sitting there on her throne in her fancy gown with her tiara. And uh, it looks to me as if it's going to be, well, she just wanted to get things done. She wanted to be very creative. She wanted to be full of ideas, full of enthusiasm, uh, busy, busy energy. So the emails that were going out at five in the morning and the making people cry and stuff was just because she was so enthusiastic and so eager and so... Uh, very uh, dedicated to her role within the royal family and my jaw hurts from having to say that but that is what came out so uh, outcome of this inquiry current energies of course the energies are a bit like windscreen wipers they shift uh, but they shift at speed so uh, uh, what's going on right now in the energy outcome of this going to be very swift um it could be over very quickly suddenly oh well it's all over and uh perhaps she was a little bit ruthless megan because the knight of swords in the upright is quite a ruthless uh, character he does leave bruised egos behind because he's not a tactful energy at all he's quite um cutting with his words and he's very very forthright and can be a little bit cruel can leave a trail of destruction behind but the knight is in the upright so it looks to me as it's going to be all over she's going to be exonerated and uh, there's going to be some kind of statement about because the knight of swords could be a sudden statement that comes out that says no findings of bullying and of course it was culture clash and she was just so enthusiastic about everything and blah blah and it does look as if the royal family is closing ranks wants this to go away 
and uh, let's see I'm going to throw cards now which I don't usually do in these readings because I usually ramble on so long but I've got through this one quite quickly so I intended to let's uh, first uh, card that we're going to throw let's see who is trying to hush this up is it the Queen herself or is it Prince Charles if the cards can please give us some indication of who might be the one that wants this to go away and uh, let's see if the cards will shoot one out. So, Queen or Prince Charles? Who's the one? And I get the Two of Wands in reverse. And uh, to me, that's the King in Waiting. King in Waiting. Male figure. He's got the globe in his hand. He's got that staff. He's ready to rule. He's not there yet because he's in the reverse. It's your plans, your strategies. Um, partnerships that kind of thing doesn't want it to get in the way of his plans and it looks to me that uh, this uh, the outcome of this investigation would have reflected very poorly on Prince Charles uh, it was always Clarence House that was the one that didn't uh, take action against Meghan Markle was still enthralled to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry uh, in my opinion allegedly lots of allegedly allegedly sprinkled all over like hundreds and thousands all over this reading final question do i need to ask it why why silence this investigation i think we've answered it but let's see if the cards have anything else is it because he wants to reconcile with harry bring harry back into the fold and he needs to make megan look good in order for that to happen or is it purely for self-interest because he is the king in waiting and we get the knight of Wands in reverse, and that to me is about Prince Harry. It's about Prince Harry, that hot headed, uh, there's the red sort of feathery thing coming out of that knight's helmet or whatever it's called, and uh, it's about Prince Harry. And the Knight of Wands is a travel card, it's a, a long distance travel card, it's moving home, leaving home, going away, exploring. He wants Harry back, he wants Harry back. Whether he wants Harry back because uh, the Queen is in her final years, shall we say, or whether he wants Prince Harry back because he wants to control the narrative and Prince Harry is about to write awful books and say awful things. You decide, but it's about Prince Harry. It's about bringing Prince Harry back into the fold. Two things going on here, image management definitely, and uh, bring Prince Harry home or uh, control him stop this hot-headed behavior this rash reckless impetuous behavior damaging destructive behavior so uh, emperor i think we have our answer to who that is in the royal family and to what is going on with the bullying investigation at the moment and again uh, disclaimer in the description box all my opinion and all alleged and thank you for watching it was a grim reading i hope you made your way through it safely and uh <laughs> i need to go and recover my energy now so i don't think i'll be doing another reading today i think that's it for today i'll see you tomorrow